Well, hi. Welcome back to the farm. We sure appreciate you being here. Come out today and wrangle up a chicken here. Oh, gotta get her back over where uh, she belongs. Diesel, be nice. Come on, baby. Ah, 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 Diesel. I'll go through the little fence here. And we'll get her back in. Come here, mama. Come here, mama. Ah, ah. Come here, mama. There you go. Back around. As I said, we're out here. It's a little chilly today, but uh, come out and got uh, little Miss Blue back in her um, coop with the Jersey Giants. And I thought I'd bring you along and talk about some of the winter um, improvements we've done. Go over them a little closer. I know we made a video on that. But uh, I'll just bring you along and say hi to our babies. Diesel just scared him to death. So we're doing this uh, video vlog style, a little informal. Not quite a big setup uh, with Christmas and the holidays and trying to craft some gifts for some people. My time has been <laughs> dwindled down to null. So making big old videos with a lot of editing has kind of been a little difficult. I figure. Well, hello. I figured we'd try it like this. So I thought I would bring you in and show you. Diesel sees it. Diesel stay. Uh-uh. Thought I'd bring you in and show you what all we did inside. So we get a lot of questions. <laughs> At least I have been lately, which is kind of cool. Um, about do we keep our, our chickens housed in houses all the time? Um, yes, they are. They each have their own coop. Um, each flock, we have two flocks. We have a Jersey Giant flock, and then we have our mixed breed flock, which I'll show you in a moment. But uh, we keep each flock separate in their own mobile coop. Uh, my husband has designed them to where we put wheels on them and can move them a couple times a year because we do enjoy having um, the chickens work the garden area in the winter time and then we move them off first of spring. I got the little one throwing some some worms. Not too many baby, just one more handful is good. Nice job. <laughs> nice job. So because we move them a couple times a year, really in the winter here in Ohio, we get pretty cold winters. We don't get a lot of snow, but we do get really cold temperatures. Um, so because of that, we try to devise something for them to still get as much daylight outside as they can, but be outside of the elements. So last year, um, I can possibly put a picture of what we did here here somewhere but um we did more of a lean to type of situation with the tarps um and then some plastic and things of that so uh this year with uh the video which i'll also link um we decided to utilize the cattle panels that we um had in our garden and do these uh hoop houses basically is what it is so in there you'll see um, I have a swing for them to kind of swing on and their food hangs. Let me see if I can get better lighting this way. So you can see that their food hangs. We keep their extra food right there, which is really nice for uh, in the evenings and the mornings. Just, you know, pu pulling it out, it, it being right here. Um, we utilize uh, jugs of water every morning that we... Um, fill up and we bring it out here to their heated dog watering bowls. We found that those work best. We get a couple weeks a year here in Ohio where our temperatures are freezing. We're pretty far, far south in Ohio. So um, we do need to plug it in for a couple weeks every year because if not, their water does freeze in about an hour and a half. So it's kind of a pain. There's their mobile cube. Um, some of our videos you'll notice we have wheels on those and pull it across our yards. Uh, the ramps come off. Um, this is our Jersey Giants. Um, 
So it seems like on YouTube, Jersey Giant uh, videos are a highly searched item. Um, and I think it's because there's really not a whole lot of videos out there on the Jersey, which is a shame. Uh, they are on the conservation um, watch list. So I kind of find it, you know, blesses my heart that I'm continuing this American breed of chicken and helping it stay into existence. We do not uh, use these birds for meat that are here. This is solely our breeding and laying flock uh, for our jerseys. That's our blue jersey right there, named Blue. That's Mr. Daphne right there, who was supposed to be a hen. And he is our big boy. Got some big old spurs on him. Looking for more scratch, he is. But the roosters of the Jersey Giant get to be 13 pounds up to. Um, Mr. Daphne's a good 13 pounds. He's a fat, lazy rooster who's just full rotten, who he will literally sit here and perch on my husband's arm to be put in his coop at night. Doesn't do it quite too much now as he used to uh, during the spring months, but he's such a turkey. And he does only have one eye. Uh, he got in uh, one of our olive agar young roos, got out of the other... Um, flock over there and uh, we had the two flocks close together and that rooster got in they got into a huge fight and Mr. Daphne lost part of his uh, inner eyelid thing I don't even know what it's called but anyway so they uh, this is also a roosting area for them as well as handles to pull the mobile coop um, which makes it nice you know sean puts four wheels on it so it's all you know four posts each has a wheel we come out every morning open it up and let them out and uh they're pretty nice and warm and secure in there got a couple egg boxes in there for them um, to utilize it does have uh ventilation and things which is nice but let me see if i can get over there i don't want to disturb Mr. Daphne too much but you can see in there they have their egg boxes it needs cleaned out it's one of the things we're also going to do today we utilize um, this rent-a-coop fence which you can really kind of see the sagging here um, it has stretched out so much um, in comparison to uh, my other uh, electric poultry netting um, and it's I'm losing who it's from premier one that's what it is so it's you know hanging down quite a bit in comparison to the premier one so the egg box is here on the back so this back half here is two large egg boxes. Right now the ladies aren't laying. We do have ventilation flaps here for when the weather is warmer. We keep that closed in these cool months. But as you can see, there's still, um, you know, ventilation for the birds because uh, we have 12 hens and one big old rooster in there. So definitely don't want uh, them overheating. He see, he's coming at me. He sees I've got, he sees that I got. You want some? You want some? Thank you. Don't pinch. That hurts. Oh, turkey. Hang on. I'll get a handful this time. There. There's a good boy. I'm such a good boy. Yeah. All right, big boy. <laughs> Best thing about Jersey Giants is that they are so gentle. That's not saying he's not a rooster. I mean, he's still a rooster. He'll still protect his ladies or guard his flock, you know. Um, but they are just so gentle. Just so gentle. Even the hens are gentle. 
But yeah, they're good egg producers. We get a good average of about 250 eggs a year. Um, large to extra large brown, light brown uh, to medium brown eggs. Um, you can hear little Nora talking with Mr. Diesel. So, yeah. So that's our jerseys, and that's their winter setup. So they will stay on this area right here until um, spring, really, until we move them off for spring, and we'll till and uh, mulch and be good to go. So then over here, we have our mixed breed flock of ladies enjoying their pumpkins from the neighbors uh, we actually have four or five more up there that we can break open for them and they just will pick at them all winter long like just as bugs and things take over and as they decompose they just come and pick all the goodies off and they love it so these ladies have the same setup you can see they have a a swing um their food hangs we store their food as well right here we also have two of the heated dog bowls as well for them and then you know the perches in the corner um, i also forgot to point out but see the wind comes from the back here and this will protect them but allow them still to get nice daylight which hopefully once they come out of this molting they'll be laying some eggs again because my goodness they have been slow they're following me everywhere because i have all the scratch but um, their laying has been so slow. We're only getting just like three eggs a day out of 26 hens, I think I have. There's things I guess we could do, put light in their coop and all that, but we just choose not to. We just let them do whatever they're gonna do. No big deal for us. In this flock here, I have lavender Orpingtons. <laughs> I have Cuckoo Moran, which is right here in front of me. We have some Americanas, Rhode Island Blues. Um, I have uh, an Australorp there, Black Australorp. I have a Blue Jersey Giant that um, came back home to us after uh, going and living at another farm as a chick and all of her sisters got killed so they brought her back because they couldn't stand the thought of her having to live alone she knows we're talking about her she's a big blue one right there <laughs> and uh, unlucky and so they brought her back here so that she could just integrate in the flock but her name's Lucky Mr. Diesel being a good boy back here and Marshmallow, she's also a Jersey Giant mix. Um, she's an olive agar. She's hiding. She's down there. And let's see what else we got. Uh, Rhode Island Reds and Blues. I think I said that. Olive agar. I still don't know what Roadrunner is. And I don't even see Roadrunner. She's usually hiding. Oh, there she is. Coming around the back side of the tube. Okay, why don't you go give these rest to Mr. Daphne and the girls, okay? Hey, Mama. This one here eating out of my hand is a Lavender Orpington. You can see her feathers finally coming in. Huh. As you can see, they uh, they have the same shelter for the wind and weather. And then this is their mobile coop here, which I've shown in other videos. But the egg box here on the side, um, door, yeah, pretty standard. They got the vent there uh, again because there are. Fifth, I think there's 16 hens in here. I can't remember. Maybe there's only 14. 14 hens in here. 14 and 12. I think I have 26 altogether. So 14 in here, 12 in there, and one rooster. 
All right. Nice job, Belle. The only thing left for us to do is um, give them a little worms because we didn't give them any mealworms. No. <laughs> you scared them. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> One more handful and that'll be good on the worms. Easy, dropping a bunch. Holy moly, easy. Not a huge handful there, girly girl. Yeah, lordy be that's enough. These things are expensive. Can you get out on your own? Any help? You can get out on your own? Look at you. Woo, superstar. <laughs> so anyway, that was it. We were just going to take you along with us this evening and show you what uh, the final projects look like it's been about three weeks since we actually moved the coop and posted the video um well since we moved the coop it's been about three weeks so um, as you can see they love it over there we got plenty of wind and rain and snow block their coops are nice and warm um and they're just happy so uh that's good right so, as always, we sure do appreciate you watching. Um, can't thank you enough for all your questions and comments that are starting to come in on our page. Uh, we really do just enjoy living in the country and raising our chickens and cooking homemade meals from scratch and just trying to use good old fashioned family values to uh, live our life and move forward. And uh, we're just glad that we can share it. So, if these are videos that you like, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that notification bell. And as always, have a great day.